Hey Aries, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a quick reading for you guys. Just going to see what we get. Um, this is a general reading, so just take whatever resonates. Um, yeah, that's all. Okay, so... We got the Fool and the Six of Wands. Going on a new adventure. Victoriously, like overcoming a whole bunch of obstacles, maybe you've just been through a whole bunch of change, and now you're finally able to step into a new direction and start something new. Um, exploring yourself, exploring new options, exploring new things. The strength card comes out, so I guess this is something that has been really hard for you to do. The strength card comes out when we have a really difficult decision. It's really hard on us mentally, emotionally, physically might even be physically, but um, I feel like it was hard for you to do, but you've done it, and you're going to be fine, okay? The Six of Wands here has a whole bunch of butterflies on it. It just signifies transformation. You've grown, you've changed, you know, all for the better. Yeah, transformation, I didn't even see that. This is a death card, okay? It just means that, you know, it's kind of like you've been through, like, coming back, and, it's, you know, you've grown from it, you've learned from it, and now you're a better person, bigger, stronger, wiser, you know? The Six of Swords, you're mentally detaching from something and walking away from something or someone that has been hurting you or draining you or just really leaving you, like, disappointed, okay? You're walking away from that now. It's like, like, you see how she has all these marks on her? I feel like they've left a mark on you, okay? I feel like they've left a mark on you. They've really, really, like, like put you through a lot of stuff. Six of Pentacles, you weren't getting back what you were putting in, right? It's like they weren't generous enough. They were leaving you out, okay? They weren't generous with their time. They weren't generous with their money, with their love, something, but they weren't generous with that, okay? What else? The Five of Wands, rivalry. It could have been a lot of arguments. It could have been a lot of inner conflict with this person. It could have been a lot of, like, just really hard situations, challenges for you guys to overcome. Um, but I feel like with the Five of Wands and the Six of Wands, you've taken the steps, right? And, you, and you've taken the steps, and it's going to lead you to a lot of change towards a whole new beginning, right? The Two of Cups, there's a new love offer coming in for you, a new relationship, okay? So there's a new love offer coming in for you, but the habit, okay? This is the Devil card. This is just saying, um, allow those chains to be broken. Allow those, you know, negative attachments, negative ties to people, places, and things to just, you know, release them. Don't allow them to keep on, you know, running your life. You don't want to live your life for anybody else or anything else. You want to live your life for you. What makes you happy? Okay, so there might be people that's codependent on you, or you might be codependent on other people, but, like, the universe just wants you to just detach with the Six of Swords is in the middle of all nine of these cards. So I feel like that is the major thing right here, is that you just need to detach. And it's like going from, like, rough, choppy waters to calmer shores, okay? <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck is, I'll take both, and this one because I've seen it, okay. you gotta wait for a little bit, okay, and then you have the four of swords for the future, okay, so you're gonna have time to rest, there's gonna be time for you to, like, get your thought process together, get your mind clear, right, so you're gonna have time away from people to be able to just, like, rest and relax, because I don't feel like you've been able to do that for a long time, three of swords, you're disappointed, Right, it's going to lead to some heartbreak. It's not going to be an easy thing to do to be able to walk away, right? But you have a new quest to go on. There's a new part of your, um, a new part, in, uh, a new phase of life that you need to uh, go down, okay? There's like a new part of your journey that wants to pop up for you. But if you keep on holding on to it, you're just going to keep on feeling stuck, you know what I mean? The habit, you could be dealing with somebody who's mentally, physically, emotionally abusive. You could be dealing with somebody that has, you know attachments to other things that might not be you, sorry, it might not be you that is having the attachment, but other people might be attached to you. You got fogged in, go slow and take your time. There is progress being made, so it's just saying, you know, take your time, do things in moderation, try not to rush it, and you will get to where you need to be. You are sailing. One second, yeah. Desert Passage, trust there's a divine plan, okay, so maybe you're losing hope or you're just feeling like things are not working out for you, but just know that the universe has something better planned for you. You might be feeling like you're losing a lot of stuff right now, right, but you're just making more room for something bigger and better to come in, okay? And then you have, this is the last card, reaching your destination, all right? So it's like your light is shining brightly, you're going to be able to help other people, you're no longer going to be stuck in a little bubble, you're no longer going to feel trapped, okay? You're going to finally be free, you're going to reach your destination, you're going to finally get to where you were aiming for the whole entire time. All right, so that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, 
please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Toodles!